Ja, maar ik zeg ook kom. This is my bike, and I'm going to show it to you. It's my long distance tour called the uh, Surly, Surly Over to be exact. And yeah, I'm going to show you in detail what I have on here. So, this is how the bike looks in general you have a really high frame with really big wheels, 29 with a front rack and some wide bars, actually trials bars that I really like and I've been keeping them there I've been meaning to change them but they're still there so I guess I like them so the first things I have a set of wheels on here they are Hope wheels they are Hope Hope Pro 4 Pro 4 with the enduro rim make a mean noise they can be a bit much for some people but I really like them so that's fine for me for the brakes I use Abit BB7s which you can see there with the regular Abit discs Abit rotors this is this 160 mil and this is the 180 mil here in the front so I have both both these hubs, both these wheels are hopes. I just recently changed them because I had a big, big failure with uh, another company. I'm not gonna name it <laughs> just now. So the wheels are there. Uh, what else? What else? We have oh we have the we have the Maxis we have the Maxis Minion tires as you can see here. These are the um, the DHF version with all the all the all the thingamajigs you you'd want from a tire tubeless ready. I don't run tubeless, but it's it's ready for it. It's ready to take it. They are 29 by 2.5 wide, and yeah, I really like them. But I only use them in the winter time because they are really slow. They are super slow, but in a trade-off, they are really really sticky. So I, I can ride in wet conditions, I can ride in the snow, I can ride any, anywhere. So for the gearing, I have up front, I have the Race Face A Effect crankset with a custom uh, Canadian made, I think it's Black Spire Snaggletooth, yeah. These are, this is the 170 mil version, so a little bit shorter. It usually has the logo here, the race face logo, but I took it off. The pedals are uh, six pack menace, which I really like. They have a small concave, as you can see, which is really, really sweet on the, on the foot. And also you can change these pins really easily because you have the one-sided one -sided bolts here. Cool. So I run 10 speed, one by 10, that's the, that's the thing I like right now. This is a XT chain. This is the XT cassette. And down here I have the clutch mechanism with the Z, Z derailleur. And my clutch is off right now, so I'll put it on. So I don't slip. The, the tensioners, or the, actually the quick, quick release, is the Halo uh, Allen key versions. These are, I found that these hold really well in place. So I'm, I'm not going to change these so far, uh, so far. But I really want to get, because the Surly frame, it has the Gnot boost, so I can run a through axle here as well. And Surly themselves, they make it. I'm, I'm going to have to order it soon, so I can take this wheel out much easier than it comes out right now. It's it's a pain in the ass to take this wheel out. But yeah, so, um, what else? I have the Z shifter here, which is working superb. It has the grippier, you can see it on this side. It has the grippier uh, lever, 
than the XT one, which I really like, or the SLX one. So it feels so nice. And actually the, the shifter itself, it's so well built, it's such a sturdy little piece. I really like it. What else? So that's, that's the shifting. What do I have here? So I have the, I have the Hope, uh, what you call it? The seat clamp, Hope clamp, or all in orange, with a Brandex post, which is just a generic post. It's, it's just there to take my ass, so it's, it's fine. I have a uh, Wilderness Trail Bike saddle on here. I think it's the, I don't remember it, I think it was the Rocket one. This is the one I've been touring with like for the last two years, so, and it's one of the best saddles I've ever ridden, so I really like it. So, in the front end, I have this rack. It's made by Specialized. It's called the, uh, I think it's called the Pizza Rack, the Specialized Pizza Rack. And I, they, they come with these um, attachments, but they actually did not fit this bike. So I had to make this little piece here, just to make it fit on my fork. Come on, focus. All right. So yeah, it's a uh, it's a wide enough it's a wide enough fix, uh, pizza rack, so I can carry uh, my dog here. She kind of likes it. I hope she likes it, but. Yeah, the summer is still coming, so we will see, we will see. So, in the front I have the, as I mentioned earlier, I have the Echo, uh, which is a Bike Charles brand. And I've had this handlebar for a, quite a while, and I've used this in trials a lot, but I had one laying around, so I thought I was gonna stick it on there, just to see how it feels. It's super light, it's super strong, and also it's, uh, it's super wide. So I have, because I have really long arms, I can, I can now ride much, much, much better. But I am gonna try the, uh, the drop bar soon, so I'll have that in mind as well. So this here, this is the, uh, I think it's Eastern, yeah, Eastern, Eastern uh, stem. It's a really cool full, full CNC design, so you have shiny surf surfaces with clean cuts and very very sharp edges so i really like that one yeah and the whole top cap up here so yeah yeah and these grips that i have here these are i think it's uh, the Con contact company Con contact i think it's called they make these and i found i've used all kinds of lock lock grips and, and soft grips and foam grips and stuff but for touring these are the best ones I wouldn't go anywhere with these, without these, I mean, the best. The brake levers, the brake levers are Avid FR5, the only only brake lever that I trust, which is a mechanical one, and yeah, yeah, all is, all is connected to, the, to another BB7 up here. And you can see here, we have a surly. Right, so that's it. That this is this is the actually this is the XL size, the Surly frame. Uh, this is the only only frame actually that fit me. So, and I'm one one ninety high. So so yeah, it's it's quite a big bike if you put it on the ground. Everything else se seems really small. That's why I wanted the long handlebars as well. This is I think they are 100, 740 millimeter. So they're nice. Okay, I think that's it. I'll leave you with some B-roll and yeah, you can look at the bike with some music. All right, bye.